Welcome to Hack My Growth. In this video, we're gonna be looking at how to measure the impact of Google algorithm updates on your website. All right, let's go. Are you looking to grow your business but you're not sure where to start? That's where we come in. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If this is your first time watching or maybe you've been watching a while and you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please do so now. We create new content each week to help you get the most out of your digital marketing activities. So like I said in the opener, we're gonna be talking about how do we measure the impact of a Google algorithm update onto our site. So recently Google just did another core update. Uh, this would make for the second core update this year and this year is 2020 and they do these periodically through the year, sometimes up to five or more core updates now going on every single year. And it's really important for site owners as well as SEOs or other marketers to understand how these updates impact our website. Now, thankfully, there's some really good uh, resources out there, and today I'm gonna be sharing you a resource uh, from another SEO who developed this really cool Data Studio report that you can use to help understand how the recent updates have impacted your results. So let's check it out. So it's official. Uh, Google Search the Ozon published on May 4th that they uh, are releasing, or they had released, a broad core update. They do this several times a year, like we talked about it, and they have very creative names for it, like May 2020 Core Update. Um, so their guidance for these things remains the same. So this is a typical webmaster's blog where they talk about what to do, what we should know when, when Google makes a core update. And there's a lot of things that happen. And there's a lot of people in the industry that do a number of tests, and we can get a lot of really good information about what's happened. But a lot of times, the things that matter the most are, is what's happening to our website. How can we make sure that we are seeing good results and making sure that we are actually trending upward when these things happen as opposed to seeing some, some negative bounce back? Now when core algorithms happen, we see major shifts and changes all the time. Um, and sometimes they can be uh, positive changes, sometimes they can be negative. And it's really our job as webmasters, as SEOs, to figure out how we can position ourselves to be the best that we can be to make sure that people who need the products and service that we are providing, uh, that, that they can find us easily in search. Now, you can go on Twitter and you can research everybody else. You can make assumptions um, based on the data that we've seen, which is really good and okay to do. But like I said, if we want to know what's happening specifically to our site, we need to look at our own data. Now, I got this link um, also from Twitter. I was following a couple of people uh, that were sharing this, and, and I found it, and it's, it was a really, really awesome report. It was just done a couple days ago uh, by Aleda Solis. Um, she's got a great blog over here. I'm going to put a link to this. And she's created a data studio report that syncs with your search console data and allows you to see your data based around a specific time frame. And so for this case, it's been set around the May algorithm update and it allows you to see your information. It's going to break it down from four days after the algorithm update and four days before. This, this, uh, this link will actually walk you through a little bit of it. If you've never used data studio before, it's very easy to use. All you need to do is go down here to the bottom and open up the report. So here we are, uh, as you can see, it's just got some uh, default data in here, so this isn't yours. If you wanna make your own, you actually have to hit this button here and make copy, and then you need to select and, and connect two different types of Search Console. You need to connect the site report as well as the URL report. So if you have Search Console, which you should, um, you can just link it up right here and it's gonna pull it right in. So I've already done this, and I can start seeing my data, and I can see what has happened. Now, now here's the time frame up here. And again, if there's another update, you can just change the, the time frames in order to set for the next update. But we know that this one happened on May 4th is when it started rolling out. So we're looking at May 5th to May 9th, and then we can also, you know, comparing it to a time before. So this is what the report is doing as well. So it's gonna do a couple of things. This, this top part is just gonna kind of show you some high level metrics like your impressions, your URL clicks, the site CTR, your average position. And then it's gonna allow you to do some filtering. Uh, you can either filter by all queries or you can look at specific queries that you're targeting, um, specific landing pages you're targeting, specific device categories you're targeting, countries you're, you're, you're targeting. And it's going to give you some high-level metrics to see how you have been impacted by the latest algorithm update. What you can do is go through each one of these. And the first one is going to compare your impressions. The next one is going to pair, compare your URL clicks. And then the third is going to show your, your, your click-through rate. And so all of these can be very helpful for us to understand. Okay, we've got more impressions, maybe we're getting more clicks, but our click-through rate's going down. So there's some things that we can still work on optimizing around. But we can start to see the winners and the losers. 
um, and seeing over the days. So May 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th. So it's going to show me the four days. And what had happened over those four days? Were we trending up or were we trending down? And this is set up as a heat map. So heat maps are nice because they can really draw attention to things. Uh, like, you know, maybe like this term right here, like local SEO agency. Uh, 33 average position. We've actually seen it go down, uh, but there's been still quite a bit of fluctuation. 33, 32, 35, 32. So this is the, there is some inf interesting data that you can start to look at here. Like which queries are you showing more visibility for? Are you showing more clicks for? They also go down here and look at your top 40 landing pages. And again, we're looking at clicks of those pages, the click through rate of those pages, and we're looking at it through these four days. Again, you're looking at here, what pages saw an increase in engagement over the last four days, which saw a decrease of engagement over the last four days. Um, the next part of the report is ranked pages with queries. So how the pages are ranking um, within a specific keyword and how are those specific pages improving? Are we seeing an increase in clicks? Are we seeing an increase in impressions? Is the overall click through rate of the pages going up? These are some interesting things to look for. It also can show you, look, when you're ranking in those top positions, you're going to have a much better click through rate than you would um, in some other positions. So this really just you show some pretty interesting stuff here. Uh, I mean, like for this template one, we're looking at a URL click through rate of 45%. But the reality is it doesn't have very many impressions, so it's a little bit skewed. So you want to start looking at those things and seeing, okay, which pages are moving forward, which pages are moving backwards. The great thing about Data Studio is everything you can filter through. So if I wanted to just do click-through rate, I could look at this right here. Now the thing you, the thing you want to think about though is like the amount of impressions, because if you only have one impression, it, it doesn't really tell you a lot. So if you sort it by impressions, you can see, okay, this page is a lot of visibility, but I have no clicks. So it's, it's really helping us understand how are we moving, where are we going up, where are we going down, what are the biggest changes. And then we can also here look, if you're doing international search, how you're performing in each of the different countries. So what this is going to do is going to allow you to help you see the big things, the things that have moved the most, the things that have shifted the most, and where can you look to improve to make sure that your site is more visible, that your site is meeting Google's expectations, but also the areas that, um, that you know you're doing a good job in and making sure that you continue to focus on those areas. Check out this report, download it, import your data. If you've got questions, please uh, comment below. If you guys have other things that you do, uh, ways that you handle Google algorithm updates, please share it below. I'd love to learn more about what you're doing. Um, and until next time, happy marketing.